With December upon us, it's about time I uploaded another debunk video. This time it's on DITRH and his absurd and continuous misunderstanding of how light works. Let's get started. Yes, that's about right. No, it's 8 minutes and 30 seconds. I know it's a nitpick, but the Pluto painting isn't really representative of how the sun would look. Why not, you know, use math and make one of your own like you did with the first image? Oh wait, how could I forget? It's because flat earthers can't do math! Well, yes and no. While you wouldn't be able to see the sun itself, because the sun is a light source, you would still be able to see the light coming from it. Allow me to demonstrate this with a flashlight. This is a flashlight from my closet. The light comes from a tiny bulb in the center of the tool. Taking this outside, what do you think will happen when I place the flashlight down and walk 100 feet away from it? Will you still be able to see the flashlight? Well, of course you can. The reason why is because the light coming from the flashlight is still able to break it to your eyes, despite the fact that the bulb that it's coming from is too small to make out with the naked eye. The same principle applies to the sun. We would still be able to see the light coming from the sun even if we were too far away for the object itself to be discernible. To take this a bit further, the flashlight's light isn't even produced by the entire bulb. Instead, it comes from a tiny metal filament in the center of the bulb, which is no more than a few millimeters long and less than one millimeter wide. By your logic, DITRH, flashlights would be made entirely useless once you got more than a few feet away from them. Do you understand now how stupid this argument is? Yeah, and? As I've just demonstrated, there is no problem here. You would still be able to see the light coming from those stars. I hope you realize the glaring flaws in your argument now. That's some good advice. A good way to start would be to stop watching Flat Earthers like you. We did. You're a liar, Dave. I have thought about it. My conclusion is that you are an idiot. I also think it's about a good time to wrap up this video. As stated in my previous video, part 2 of my response to Level With Me should be up by the end of the month. I'll see you then.